Welcome to Ottoman Dad's Collectibles. Yes, we're back with our first new episode in a long time that features us unboxing stuff. And that's what today's episode is going to be. We have this classic cage set, which is available at Target. It looks like the very 80s WWF. <laughs> the very 80s and 90s, I guess, WWF ring. Featuring the blue apron, the blue turnbuckle, the blue corner post, the red, white, and blue ropes. So we're going to unbox it and build it here on camera. And we're going to see how it looks actually assembled with wrestlers in it and how they fit. I have this shirt in my hands and my socks. And brand new pants, too. And brand new pants. Yep, brand new, nice, comfortable pants. It, it, you, you could see them better, though, if you stand up on this chair. You couldn't really see them over there. See, now you can see them on the camera. These are your brand new, comfortable pants that I bought you yesterday. And we have a background. We have a background with a new guy. Uh, this guy we got at Walmart for 16 bucks. What a deal. So we're going to get to unboxing this cage and the ring and building it. So for scale purposes, I have Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan. See how they will fit in this ring. The ring appears to be very small. The box is actually not that big. And if you choose to, on the back, there's a perforation right here. I'm running my finger across the perforation. You can't really see it. Maybe I can do a close-up and show you, but this is if you want to push through and open the box this way. Being a collector, I don't want to push this box in and damage it in case I decide to rebox it. I'm just going to open it from yeah. the side. Yeah. Look. What? Yeah, the ring and the cage are both included. And I should mention this was $39.99 at Where's Target. Where's the door? Well, normally the cage has a door right there on the side there. And by the way this is opening, this is not a very friendly packaging to open. You'll see what I mean in a second here, the way it was glued. See, there's no way to really open it nicely. The packaging is tearing apart. This is a small table. A very small table, but we're going to have an upgrade coming very shortly after we move. Here's the cage. There's a cage. Here's the turnbuckles. Turnbuckles. Look, it's a big cage. And they do come with stickers as decals for the ring and the corner posts. So the turnbuckles will have old WWF style, but WWE updated logos for the turnbuckles. Yeah. Here's our directions. So how many of those do we have right there, Autumn? How many of these cages do you have right now? We're supposed to have One, four. Two. Is there four? Yeah, there's four. There's four. All right. Look. So it looks like to me what they did was they used the old ring, the old style ring, because this resembles the ring that we already have. I'll put these down here. So we're going to do step one is apply the labels. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get this label on. You only get one chance of getting it on straight, so you want to get it right the first time. There's stickles for this, too. You know. You did it! I did it. So, our... Sticker has been applied. Now we got to do all of the corner posts. So now that is what ideally your corner post will look like with the stickers applied. And you're going to do this four times. And now we'll put the first one in. We did all the stickers. We did. So the stickers are going to go away. I have to unravel these ropes. The first thing I need to do is red. No, blue has to be first. But I need to put this post in first. There I go. This is hooked up on the corner already. Okay, so take the blue, put it under the bottom one. The blue is the bottom rope. It just hooks in like this. See, it hooks under. Not hooked under. 
And this one will hook under there. And now the white on the middle yeah. one. Yeah. Yep. This goes up and down. There's that. And now the last is the red. And it looks like a guitar with the root. It looks like a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> like guitar strings. Okay, so this is our ring without the cage. Like that. There's our ring. Look. Now we need to proceed to step number four in order to put the cage on. Okay, so this we're putting the ring posts. Actually, we're putting the cage to the ring posts by doing this. And then these snap in on the side here. Right there and right there. This is how the cage will be connected to the ring. And so far, it's working out fairly good. I'm impressed with this. Really impressed with the, uh, the cage. It's big and they need to go under. The only problem I see is if you actually want to play with this cage, if you're not a collector like me, there's no way you could really have a legit steel cage match in this ring because the cage is so high. There's it's the playability basically it won't work because the cage is so high up on here. That's the only problem I see. Okay. Now stand to the side here so everybody can see. Let's see, will Hulk Hogan fit in the door? Barely. Hulk Hogan barely fits in the door, but he can go in. Andre the Giant's going to be a little tall. So Andre the Giant's going to be too tall to fit in. So he'll be in the ring. So you guys can get an idea of just how tall the cage is. With Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant in the ring. The ring is extremely small. There's not enough room for two guys to lay across the ring. So that's the problem. The ring is very small. The cage is very tall. All right, so at a $40 price point, this thing is a definite must buy for any collector. What I'll be using mine for is probably different than what a lot of people will be using theirs for. Mine is just gonna be a display. Mine will simply be an 80s wrestling blue cage display, which I'll keep Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, a lot of the 80s guys in. So for that, it's a really cool piece that I don't know where it'll go. It'll go somewhere in the collection. But for 40 bucks, you get a ring and a cage, so that's a bonus. So, and the other thing is, I think these things will be highly collectible. This is, these rings and stuff, their value increases every year, so that's something else to think about. So I would definitely recommend picking up one of these if you can get it at Target. We didn't have a problem. They had like five or six of them in the shelf. They were on the bottom shelf at our particular Target. So, yeah, everything checks out in this ring. If you're going to use it to play with, that's another story. But as far as using it as a display piece, like I'm going to, it definitely is a nice thing to be having your figures displayed in. Autumn, what do you think? Is this cool? Yeah. Yeah? Cool cage? It's yeah. kind of hard to play with the guys in the ring, though, I think, because the cage is so tall. Like, there's no way to play with the wrestling guys in the ring other than if you want to go over the top. And you know how to win a cage match? You know how you win? The first guy that knocks the other guy down and climbs over wins. So he knocks Hulk Hogan out, then he has to climb all the way over the cage and get all the way down on the floor, then he wins the match. That's how you win a cage match. So this has been the classic cage playset episode. If you like these, hurry out to Target, because I'm pretty sure these things will sell out. I only bought one. The collector in me wanted to buy two and keep one in the box, but 
realistically, I'm running very low on space, and I kind of have to juggle the things that I would prefer to have more in the collection, which is more Halloween and Michael Myers stuff over wrestling. The wrestling gets a little bit of space in my house, but Halloween gets the most collection. Anyways, see you guys back here on the channel. Autumn? Say so long, everybody. Yeah.